Hey, what's going on guys? It's Anton. So we're back with a brand new video and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to pass in arguments in your uh, queries for GraphQL. The reason why we need to do this is because we need to know which specific record from our MongoDB database to return. So in our case, we're going to get the guild config, which requires the guild ID parameter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new field called get guild config and then the type is going to be a guild config type and we'll create that in just a sec but I'll set up the resolver function first all right so let's go up here I'll do it right here const guild config type so like all of our other types we're going to create a new graphql object type instance and the name is just going to be guild config type and the fields we're going to have all of them shape our database schema okay so if you look at our guild config.js this is our mongoose schema we want to make sure that all of the fields are matching okay the name as well as the type so for example we want to make sure for discord like discord guild id that the names the spelling are the same and the type this is going to be a GraphQL string, which matches string over here. And I'm just going to copy and paste this three more times. And I'm going to change up the fields. So we have prefix, default role, and a member log channel. Okay, so that's our guild config type. Like I said, you want to make sure you're shaping your data based off of your schema. And if we wanted to add more fields to our schema, we can. You would also have to add it to the GraphQL guild config type too. So now what's next is we need to actually take in arguments for our query. So we're going to pass in args as a parameter or field right over here, get guild config args. And we're going to say, hey, look, we want you to pass in a guild ID and the type is going to be a graph ql string okay and that's it and now all of these args that we define in this object are also going to be uh passing to this object over here so for example if i just console log args now if i look over here i should have the get guild config field and it takes in the guild id okay there we go and let's go ahead and try to call that guild guild ID one two three and let's just return the prefix for now it's going to return null don't worry but I just want to show you what happens in the console you can see we have our arguments inside the args object which is awesome if I remove it though it's just going to be an empty object okay so let's go ahead and do this first let's destructure guild ID from args and we're going to do two checks with one if condition so if no guild id or the request dot user uh, is undefined so if there's no request dot user then we're going to return null okay so basically if they did not pass in a guild id or if the user is not logged in that's what this request dot user check does if there is no request dot user then we're going to return null. Now we're going to need to basically follow the same stuff that we were doing in our REST API. We're going to search the database for the guild config based off of the guild ID. And then if the config was found, then we're going to return it. If it's not found, we'll just return null. So we'll do this const config equals await. So you want to make sure you import guild config schema. So we should have that right up here. Okay, that's from the databases folder. So you go out one directory and then you go into databases and you go into schemas and the guild config. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and reference guild config dot find one. And we're going to find by the guild ID. Now remember the field is the same name as the variable value that we're expecting to search by. So instead of doing guild ID, guild ID, we can just leave it like this because they're the same names. Okay. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a ternary operator. So basically this is going to allow us to 
check to see if config is truthy, okay, then we're going to return config. However, if config is falsy, we add a colon after, and then we're going to return null. So this is just a shorthand of an if else condition. So if this is true, okay, then return config. If this is false, return null, okay? And you use this syntax to set up the ternary operator. And this itself should be more than enough. So let's go back here, let's refresh. Okay, so now we just need to pass in the guild ID. So we can go ahead and get this ID over here because I know this ID is in the database. If it's not in the database, it's gonna return null. So make sure you're testing out one that actually is in the database. So you can see we have our prefix, we have our, let's see what else can we get. Guild ID, default role, default role, and then member log channel. And there we go. So that's pretty much it for getting the guilds by ID. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the roles. So pretty much all we're gonna do really is we're going to create a new uh, query and then we're going to create a new type. And then we're gonna basically just call the API, get all the roles, and that's pretty much it. All right, so I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.